thick your fruit is and how liquidy, it doesn't take long at all. So here we go. And we got some stuff in here. And if you don't have a dehydrator, you can do it in the oven. Mm -hmm. You can if you want, but I just put it in between layers of wax paper and put it in a plastic bag. Because honestly, the children and I eat it before it could ever go bad. But if you're going to make it in huge batches, you can always throw it in a freezer. But I would put it between wax paper first before putting it in the plastic bag just to keep down our freezer burn and stuff of that nature. I also um, brought some basil that I'm in the process of drying. I just picked the leaves, put them on here. I just put these on here this morning, and they're almost dry. Stuff like this, if you don't have a dehydrator, you can always just hang it. If you don't mind waiting, that takes the longest. Or do it in an oven at a very, very low temperature. You have to cut some to dry. Any herbs? are pretty easily grown in small pots. If you don't have a garden, you can keep a few little small pots of whatever you like in a sunny window um, and dry things so you have it all the time for cooking or whatever. I dry mint for colds in the winter time. It's nice to just take a little handful of mint and throw it in your tea. Breathe in the steam as you're waiting for it to finish up. And it's great for, you know, your sinuses, your throat, anything of that nature. Um, sage is also a great one for colds in the wintertime. Um, a lot of things that grow naturally have all kinds of great properties in them that keep you healthy. And it's better to try and just do your own thing than buy it. Because I feel when you buy it, unless you know where it comes from, you don't know how it was grown, what chemical fertilizers they use to grow it with, things of that nature. Those are things I think about when I'm making food purchases or doing things for myself. So, um, and if anyone else wants to smell or, you know, whatever, you're more than welcome. I love the smell of dry herbs. Of course, it's going to make your house smell good. Um, if you like potpourri, you can make your own. You know, why buy something you can easily make yourself, just dry a few flowers you like and cinnamon sticks or whatever and have your own. So um, I brought some cards with me today as well if anyone wanted to come and see our farm ever or if you had any questions. But um, I will leave the floor open now for questions if anyone has any. Could you please tell us about your lavender cake? Oh. Lavender cake, <clears throat> excuse me. I've always grown lavender for fun, of course, and beauty. It's one of the best smelling flowers there is. And a lot of times people think, you know, you can't cook with it. You know, usually you think lavender is putting sachets or, you know, whatever for smell. So I had a friend who grows lavender bring me some of hers from her garden and a recipe for lavender cake and I thought, lavender in a cake. I wasn't too sure about it. And I'm a baker professionally, so anytime someone gives me a new recipe, I always try it first before I sell it to other people. Because I'm kind of of the mindset of if I don't like it and wouldn't eat it, you know, I don't expect other people to. So I tried this cake and it was delicious. I was completely surprised and blown away at the flavor it was one of the best tasting cakes I've ever had, and we eat a lot of cake. <laughs> I make a lot of cake, so I have been giving the recipe out to anyone who wants it. It's super easy to make. The ingredients are very simple, and when I sell it at Farmer's Market, of course, people always are very skeptical. They're like, lavender cake, and they get this look on their face like, I don't know if I want to eat that. And I always say, trust me. I tried it first delicious so they'll buy a slice and they always come back and say that is delicious I'm glad you talked to me into buying it mm -hmm. so things you know you would normally think you couldn't do with you never know herbs are great they're very versatile you can do a lot with them it's 
So I forgot to tell people about the bread that they're eating. Do you want to just say a word about the bread you need? If you didn't um, already. Well, I'm sorry, oh, sorry. If you didn't already tell them, I'm going to just no. um, I'm a baker. I specialize in bread. Everyone calls me the bread lady, which is sweet. Uh, I've been making bread for, how long would you say? I mean, quite a while, five or six years. And actually, my husband taught me how. He used to make bread when he worked for a restaurant. And that's what I sell primarily now at the farmer's market. I do sell other things, eggs, when we have them, um, extra produce when we have it. Uh, mostly people know me for my bread, and I specialize in organic and 100% natural baking. I don't use anything refined. Uh, I feel like our diets have become way too processed. Uh, a lot of people have health problems today from food that's very scary, so I try and stay as natural as possible and avoid anything that's not natural or, you know, of that nature, so. I would like to know more about the refrigerator. Oh, you what is the temperature range? How high does it go or low does it go? It doesn't have a temperature gauge. It's just a very low heat coil with a fan that circulates the heated air. To It's just a more quicker way of drying things. So it's it's pretty safe. I mean, it gets a little warm, but I can touch it. It's not going to burn me. So the heat is very, very low. I mean, I wouldn't set a newspaper next to it, but it's, you know, you're not going to burn yourself on it or anything like that. How can you tell when stuff is dry enough? Like when you make your food? Leaves, if you pick it up and you can do like this and it crumbles, like, and I'll show you in your hand, um, it's dry enough. Okay. Like, you want it to just crumble right up like these are still drying my daughter's had this you know hanging and it's not quite there but you want them to easily crumble into your hand I wonder with how low the temperature is I wonder if that preserves maybe more nutrients than like more high heat like canning or something like that Do you really need to pick oh I never really thought it might it's possible because okay. heat does destroy nutrients um, that's proof of fact but um at a lower heat or even if you know you would take something like this and just mm -hmm. with nothing and let it dry naturally of course this is going to be the best way um, anytime you involve heat you know it's going to do some but like you said at a low temperature it's probably not going to be as bad as cooking something mm -hmm. or, you know like that so you mentioned that the leaves should be crumbly, but what about fruit slices, for example? How do you know when they're dry enough and not too dry? Or is there such a thing as Well, fruit? I was just saying, it depends on how you like it. Some people like their dried fruit to still be a little rubbery and moist, and that's fine. Some people like it really dried out. It's just what your preference is. So it'll reconstitute okay you it depends. If it still has some moisture in it, it will reconstitute better than if it's like a completely dried out chip with nothing in it. But Yeah, because I tried some berries one year and they had way over it. They were like little rocks. <laughs> it, it happens. You can still eat it though. I mean, you could like throw it in an oatmeal or something and then when you put your liquid in, that would help somewhat. dry things. I do not at this point. Mostly I just do it for myself. Um, I'd have to find out what the rules are for dry fruit because there's different rules. Oh, the herbs and things? Not usually. Like I said, I just do it for myself right now. Because um, you know, every year I in the garden, I caught myself some hard rats. And this year the rat is getting ate everything. Oh, yeah, they'll do that. And I thought that if you had some of the farmers marked that up. Yeah, no, I don't, and I'm not sure. Do you know if Saram ever has any dry herbs with her? I should find out. Because I know she grows them, I just don't know if she dries them and brings them there. But. I've seen her sell fresh. Um, yes. I'm not sure about dry them. Yeah. Did they I think them fresh? I think I've seen her sell the sage sticks before. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, she has those. But yeah. not, I don't think.